Hello everyone, welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw the development of a cylinder. So if you are new to this channel or you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, uh, kindly click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon to subscribe to PA Academy. So the first thing we are going to be doing here is to draw uh, the base of the cylinder. You know, the base of a cylinder is always in a circle. So to do this, I'm going to be using a circle with radius of 2 cm. So, with a radius of 2 cm, let me draw my circle. So, having done that, the next thing we are going to do is to divide the circle into, six, um, into 12 equal parts. To divide the circle into traffic equal parts. So to do that, I'm going to be using my protractor to do that. So that's to divide it into traffic equal parts. That will be at 30 degrees away from each other. I should have just divided all the angles at the same time, but no problem. Okay, so let me just clean up this point so that don't make any error. All right, so let's so let's call this point one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So having done this, the next thing is we are going to draw so from the from the top of the circle so let's draw that straight line so this straight up this would be the center if you extend this, we are going to be having this. So don't forget when we if you, the radius is two centimeter, the radius here is two centimeter. That means the diameter is four centimeter. So the same length of the diameter. So we are going to draw it here. Now let's take our height. Um, you know, let's take our height to be, let's say uh, 6, or should I say 6, or let's just take it to be 3, 
let's assume the height of our cylinder to be 3 cm. So we are going to draw 3 cm up. You know, if you are looking directly at your uh, your cylinder, it's you know if it is either forming a square or you know depending on the height and the and the base. So it's either forming a square or a rectangle. So so the next thing we are going to do is project this line to the right. So make sure it's parallel to the one we drew earlier. So now let's do a little calculation. Now we, when drawing this circle, we took a uh, radius to be two centimeter. Now if the radius is two centimeter, uh, don't forget the formula for the circumference. Circumference of a circle is given as two pi r. So that will be two times pi is three point one four two. 3.14 and our radius is 2 cm. So by the time we do this, we are going to be having um, 12.56 cm. So let's just approximate it to 12.6 cm. So that means we are going to be drawing a, uh, a rectangle with a length of 12.6. So let's do that. So this is where we are going to be doing it. And let's measure that 12.6. Now this 12.6 is the circumference of the circle. That means, you see the circle that we are having, if you are to open it up to form a straight line, it will be 12.6. So let's measure the 12.6. So this is 12.6. So let me... So we'll do the same, measure the same thing at the top, 12.6. Then we can join it. So now what we are going to do is, the same way we divide this um, circle into 12 to get this 12 uh, points, that is 1 to 12. We are also going to do the same thing, you know, right here. To do. So we are going to divide this line 12.6 into 12 equal parts. You know, since it's 12.6, uh, if you are to divide it, that would be 1 point, uh, zero. That will be 12.6 divided by 12. So that will give us 1.05. So you know if you are to use a ruler to start marking off uh, 1.05, this can be a little challenging. So the best thing is to use um, the concept of how to divide a straight line into equal number of parts. So I have a video of that, uh, that talked about that deals with that that show you how to divide a straight line. So I'll be do using that concept here. So from the base, what we just do is at any convenient angle, we we'll draw a straight line. I'll make it faint just to you know, let help us divide the line. So you can pick your compass and divide this line that we've just drawn into 12. Since that's what we want to achieve, so we, to divide it into 12, 1, 2. And here is the last one, which is the 12. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So what I'm just going to do is, so from the last one, I'll draw it, join it here. So what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be drawing a line parallel to this. So from this point to this line, let's call this line A. B. We're going to be drawing a line parallel to 
let's call this point one from point one to b so another line parallel so like this we've been able to divide this into 12 equal parts so i'm gonna have to draw this line that are parallel to it i made it faint because you know it's not just part of the construction but just a way to get the point so this will be point so this will be point one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then point twelve point twelve so what I want to do is from let me take point nine. So let me use point nine as the point. So we want to draw bring back this circle. We want to bring it back to this point nine at the top and at the bottom. So don't forget that uh, the radius of the circle is two centimeters. So I'm going to my point out two centimeter downwards. For this and then from this point also two centimeter so that by the time we fold you know when we talk about the development of a cylinder that means by the time you cut this out okay let me first of all draw the circle so let me bring back my my compass i hope it's still on two centimeter it's still on two centimeter so from this point now i can draw the circle So now I've gone ahead to draw to draw the circle. Now what this means is that from this point, you know, to this point, this that is the part that represents uh, the development. Of a cylinder. That means if we should cut so that means if you cut out from this point straight down to this point A, come to point 9, cut out the circle, and back to this point B straight up, you come here, you cut the circle, cut this part back to this part. That means by the time you cut it out, you'll be able to fold this, this, and then this will represent, this circle represent the top of the cylinder, and this will represent the, uh, the lower part or the base. Of the cylinder and without you've been able to form a cylinder so that is what uh, this drawing is all about when we talk about the development uh, how to draw the develop how to draw the development of the cylinder so that is it for this video guys uh, if you find this video helpful kindly click on the uh, like button to like this video to give it a thumbs up if you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy please click on the subscribe button that red that triangular box with subscribe on it yeah click on it Please click on it and the little bell icon okay so with that i'll see you all in another video thank you very much